Welcome to the Oprah Winfrey Book Club. <laughs> Today, we're going to be discussing the new book, Johnny Got His Gun, available for 1995. Um, and to start, we're going to focus on how the author, Dalton Trumbo, shows Joe struggling to maintain his humanity through his subconscious memory and conscious activity. Today, we have some important people who played an important role in Joe's life. They uh, all read the book and have some feedback inside on Joe's thoughts <laughs> and memories. First off, I'd like to welcome Joe's girlfriend, Kareem. Kareem, Kareem. Kareem, Kareem. So, how did you feel when you read this book? And read about you and Joe's intimate experiences together. Well, I was mostly just really, really, really sad. I still am really, really, really sad. <laughs> but I realized that it was so amazing that Joe could still think of our time together, like on page <laughs> And he talks to Fox about pretty much how he's going to be. And that just wants me so much. <laughs> and we can use more. And he says, stay closer to me. Don't go away. Be closer, closer, free. And watch out for the water coming over your face. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate you explaining that to us. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Joe if he heard you. He's not here, Bill. Next, I'd like to just get over it. I'd like to introduce Joe's father. So, Joe's father. <laughs> did you feel that your son kept his humanity in the hardest part of his life? Of course he did. Joe's memory became the most important thing to him after he lost everything. All he could do was think and remember. And what is a human without their memory? Nothing. What makes a person human is remembering the little things in life, not just the big things. And my son did that. He remembered when he lost my fishing pole. How could a non-human possibly remember something like that? Great. Thank you, Joe's father. No, well, applause. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> so, moving on from subconscious memory, um, let's see how Joe maintains his humanity through conscious activity. So, through this book, Joe struggles to count time. He tries hard to be, in some way, part of the rest of the world. We have a guest here today who helped us to help Joe find out what time it actually was. Welcome the new nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, new nurse. Hi, I'm so happy uh -huh. <laughs> So, <coughs> you. So, nurse, what were 
were you thinking when you started tracing Merry Christmas on Joe's chest? Well, <laughs> I don't really know. I, don't, I didn't know if anything would actually happen, but, you know, I just thought, I had this feeling that there was something more to him than just the stump and faceless thing that he was. And, and so I, I tried to communicate with him, and it worked. And as, like it says, on page 210 to 213, it was like me trying to communicate with him. Like, I would put the urinal under his bed and touch it to his skin, and he would shake his head because that wasn't what he wanted. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, um, but, after, uh, but even though, like, our communication was primitive, I still communicated with him. And communication is something that makes people with people. And so I feel like, the two things, communication and time, he got those, and even, and that's what made him a human. And even when he didn't have those things, he was still striving to get those things. And I think that's something that's really important. I agree. That is very important. Thank you, nurse. Now, on to our last guest on the show, hmm, the doctor. <laughs> Doctor, how do you feel about Joe? Do you think of him as a nurse? Well, yeah, I guess I do. People can communicate, and Joe sure could communicate. So that makes him a person, I guess. But what he was asking was just not acceptable. And in my belief, what people don't know won't hurt. Him. <laughs> no. <laughs> But I guess it must have been well thought out, what he was thinking of. He had about three years of thinking in him, and it seemed he couldn't wait to leave that bladder full of knowledge. The tapping just went on and on. I know it must take some thought to tap all that, and to think all that. It takes a very human person to think all of those things. So yeah. So after all this, I think we can conclude that Joe did indeed maintain his humanity through subconscious memory and conscious activity. Throughout the wonderful book of Johnny Gattis Gunnar, which will be in the thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to all our guests. Please join us next time on the Oprah Murphy Book Club. <laughs>